My master wants you to convey this message to Master Shelrene. The Assembly will not tolerate threats or coercion. These rumors disturb the other masters. Shelrene must moderate her ambition before the Assembly takes action. I will relay your concerns to Master Shelrene. Forget what you heard, stranger. Master Shelrene cares not what the other masters think of her, or how difficult she makes things for me. So, what brings you to Telvara, the tower of the Telvani mouths? Master Shelrene never comes to Aldisra. Telvani masters rarely do. I expect she is at her tower Telbaro, but I would be a poor mouth indeed if I let you pester her at home without asking what business you have with her. Ah. Master Shelrene doesn't discuss her work with me. Very well. Take the Telbaro insignia from my office. You'll need it to unlock the wards. Otherwise, you'll never get through the cavern to reach the tower. She takes security quite seriously. My office is through the north door and the insignia is behind my desk. Use it to unlock the wards in the cavern or you'll never reach the tower. Telbaro is hard to find. Look for the cavern of the tower east of all these... Elrite Moran, should we be concerned about the trouble in Necro? Portal. Where the Mundus hides wisdom, the divines place their treasure. Or so the Sigic Order says.
unlock the Black Book soon enough. He better, Shelrini. We need the right hidden within the tormenting eye, or else all is for naught. Tell the princes. I'll uphold my end of the bargain. I expect them to uphold theirs. <laughs> Black book when I return, or else. Over here! Quickly before Shereni comes back! I see you were able to follow the clues I left in my tower. Uh, but you took your sweet time. I can't defy Shereni much longer. If we're going to get out of here and keep me from complying with that lying murderer, you must do exactly as I say. My spirit is bound to the soul gem Shereni used to capture me. Disentangling the connection will require more time and expertise than you have. So simply take the gem and leave. Without me, she may never be able to unlock my black book. <laughs> Shereni took the black book with her, but without my help, she'll have to unriddle it page by page. The labor of days or weeks, not hours, if. She can even accomplish it. She's too fond of the easy path to power. It will be her undoing someday. She doesn't need it at all. She's in league with a Dramora, Torvasard, and a pair of Daedric princes. There's apparently a right contained within the book they want her to cast. In return, they'll give her what she wants. Control of House Telvanni. Gem in your possession. I can come and go as I please. Now use that portal and let's go. Yes, this will do nicely. Let's discuss our arrangement, my chariot of flesh and bone. Being dead and incorporeal isn't how I plan to spend eternity. But being with you is a thousand times better than remaining in Shereni's clutches. And we delayed her plans for my black book. Now, tell me about your dealings with Hermaeus Mora. So, end of the world stuff. Well, that's something interesting at least. Obviously you're going to need the help of a Telvanni Magister. Luckily you have me. Let me conjure up a small reward for my old vault. A stipend for services rendered. Now, mind you keep my gem on you at all times. I can't help you save the world or advise you on matters of import if I'm not on your person. Unless I manifest, only you can hear me. Oh, and I can lend you certain abilities, such as my ghost sight. Remember, I was a Telvanni Magister. Still am, as a matter of fact. One of the most powerful mages in the peninsula. And I've dealt with Hermaeus Mora before. And Shereni. Don't you think my counsel will be worth listening to? Well, it is. Tossed in your pack? I expect you to find a nice silk pouch for my gem at the first opportunity. Now, let's be off. We discovered much here, and gained a valuable ally. Even though Master Shelreni took possession of the Black Book, Fate's threads still lead to two other locations. Choose another portal proxy.
perhaps. And more shade. Fate must have led you here, friend. Prelate Forum arrived aboard the Stormwing. If you can find out where they boarded the ship, it might tell us something. Talk to the Portmaster at the harbor, while I deal with any pilgrims that come by. The Lord of Secrets? I hope not. I mean, I suppose Hermaeus Mora isn't bad as far as Daedric princes go. He's not part of the House of Troubles, after all. But trafficking with any Daedra is dangerous business. Everyone knows that. This is the Necropolis of Necrom, perhaps the largest and oldest necropolis in all of Morrowind. For thousands of years, families have interred their revered ancestors in these catacombs. It's my honor to serve as one of the keepers of the dead. Yes, we're a monastic order. We keep the crypts in good repair. We help families make funerary arrangements. And we guide those pilgrims who come to visit their ancestors. We never turned anyone away. Until now. I was with Abbot Ilvel when Prelate Forum arrived. I was barely introduced when the Abbot sent me to get tea from the market. I'm worried about the Abbot. He's always been kind to me. He and the monks raised me after... Well, I had no other family. I haven't seen it firsthand. Prelate Forum says the monks are delirious with fever. Now I'm stuck out here, turning pilgrims away, while everyone else is quarantined inside. I think he brought this sickness to the necropolis, yes. Perhaps he picked it up on the voyage to Necrom, although neither he nor his aides appear sick. I wish I could ask Abbot Ilvel about it, but Prelate Forum won't let me inside to see him. I don't mean to burden you with my troubles, stranger, but something dreadful is happening in Alavelus. I'm lucky I... It's a village in the South Peninsula. When I heard that the glass mine was reopening, I went there to find employment. I'm a miner by trade, and I needed the work. They hired me, but instead of mining, they wanted us to build something. I never found out. I stumbled upon a group of Daedric cultists and realized something really bad was going on there. I ran and never looked back. I told the city guard, but I don't think they believed me. Someone needs to do something.
Mortal. Mortals. You scurry around, obsessed with your petty affairs, and then you die. But you bear the mark of Hermaeus Mora. Have you come to replace me in my task? That would be typical. Wait. Were you sent to help me with the cultists? Before you die? Not much to tell. I just arrived myself. This mortal served the Great Eye, but he died before he could tell me about the other Daedric cultists that scamper about. They're creating an intolerable contradiction in reality. It makes my tentacles ache. Something here undermines a fate recorded by Hermaeus Mora. Likely foolish mortals trying to change what has already been written. To fix this, I could use some help. Hmm. It's common knowledge that mortals prize gold. Aid me and I'll give you some. I'd prefer to sit back and wait for entropy to claim a- you mortals make. No, Where's it coming back. from? I need to wait. Are you... Are you real? Are you... Are you real? Not another one of those awful dreams. It started when a stranger came to town. A Tilvani master. She offered to purchase the... You know her. Master Shelrenny didn't stay long, but she sent an overseer who started hiring... Work. Everyone in the village was given a job in the mine. Then others came. Masons and additional laborers. In the dream, they were building an arch in the mine while we dug out the glass and stone. What wasn't used for the arch was sent to restore a statue. I, I don't know. I, but listen. The overseer and his workers, they're Daedra worshippers. They rounded Nightmares. Sounds like Prince Vermina, all right. We should investigate this green glass inn. Disappointing. Another name that overpromises and underdelivers. Yeah, well, we might as well look around. Master Shao Reni, are you familiar with this mortal? Ah, I should have guessed Shao Reni Barreau was involved in whatever happened here. The dream carvers plan to strike an apocrypha? Oh, that must be- I assume this would turn out to be some pointless mortal delusion. A minor contradiction easily resolved. Clearly, the cult used the mind to construct a portal to apocrypha for the express purposes of invading my master's realm. They also- mm. Black books open doors to apocrypha. So why do they need a gate? Still, Telvanni masters are powerful. Doors in Apocrypha lead to secrets and knowledge. Something this Torvus- Most of the time, the research I undertake is wasted. But my study of the area indicated that the mine runs underneath the village. Of course he did. Mortals always get the special titles. But who winds up doing all the work? Usually that's me. Well, as long as we're both here, we might as well work mm. together. Never-
malachite. Volcanic glass that absorbs magic under the right conditions. More to work with me! Some of the missing villagers. Mortals should have the decency not to leave their empty husks lying about. An arched gateway. It's untidy. It's inactive. But I can detect the lingering energy of Apocrypha in the air. It must have closed recently. Look around, mortal. We need more information before I attempt to activate this gateway. Contradictions cling to those tools like void tape that adhere to a watcher's tentacles. Leave them for now. We need to deal with the gateway. This is bad. But at least we have the invocation needed to activate the gateway. An obscure invocation. Where did Shelwenny dig it up, I wonder? A messenger just brought me this letter. It's from my foster brother Quisley, of all people. I wasn't even sure he could write legibly. And I have to say, Quisley wants me to come to Daggerfall. He was even sort of polite about it. He says he needs my help with a personal problem. Which, of course, is no great surprise. He says he found an old letter in Lord Silvel's study. A letter about my mother. She died when I was very young, and I'm not sure how exactly she knew the Silvels, but I want to know more. What do you think about a trip to Daggerfall? Here, you can read the letter for yourself, if you're curious. I wonder what sort of mess Quisley's managed to get himself into this time. I've seen it a hundred times. All of the Silvels have a way of warming up when they need me to do something for them. Offering something of value for my help? Something about my mother? That's new. <sighs> I suppose we have no choice. We need to activate the gateway and follow Hermaeus Mora's enemies to Apocrypha. Did I use the wrong word? Here. You can read the letter for yourself, if you're curious. <sighs> I suppose we have no choice. We need to activate the gateway and follow Hermaeus Mora's enemies to Apocrypha. Such heroics aren't usually part of my duties, but so it goes. I'll open the portal, then in we go. Did I use the wrong words, mortal? My investigation is incomplete. To find out what the hidden kindred seek in my master's realm, I must follow them. And since you agreed to assist me, you must follow me. I like it less. Hmm. Apocrypha can be overwhelming for mortals. You may find power or despair, knowledge or madness. Still, you bear the mark of her mate. Ready yourself, mortal. What is that invocation? Ah. By seventh Umbra and the dismal name, I bid thee open the Beliarch's fane. Behold, Apocrypha. Don't look up, Mortal. I understand your kind find our sky disturbing. Let's see. Head south. They went that way. Trail continues to the west, mortal.
Tranquil catalog. Oh, no. Pick up the pace, mortal. Hold, intruder. I failed to stop your allies, but I... Pardon my impertinence. Now I see that you bear the mark of a maze. Invaders forced their way into the Tranquil Catalog. I think they were devotees of Periite and Vermina. I am a humble cipher, a mortal scribe in service to the Great Eye. This is the Tranquil Catalog. A register and index of the contents of Apocrypha. Emmaus Mora's enemies could wreak havoc with the information stored here. They scattered once they broke into the catalog. The pool of inquiry? I know the way, Mora. in the Tranquil Catalog? What a calamity. The way to the Pool of Inquiry is straight ahead. Mortal, let me aid you. Let's go! The White Crown serves Periad. But orders the hidden kindred to work with Vermina? Strange allies indeed. The invader shattered the portal seal. We need to follow them to the Pool of Inquiry. No one was afraid of this. The invaders used the sacred tears. Look around. Without them, we these portals lead to the shrines where we can find more of the sacred tears. Shrines and tears? Bah! <sighs> Even the tolerable danger of life to my ceremony on pain rules of conduct. Take forever to put the catalog back in order. The mortals of Skyrim know the great eye is Colonel Mora. Gather the sacred tears. name among the Khajiit. Gather the tears, mortal.
great eye. Call on me. Be careful. Dream carvers and hidden kindred lurk around every corner. The aliens called my master here, Mamora. Pity they're long gone. <laughs> I found them interesting. Hands. I'm not jealous at all. Now take the tears and place them in the pool. They are the pool of the Ozark gold. Thank you, Enter the pool and it will take us there. Tranquil Archives. One of the main repositories for Hermaeus Mora's glyphics. We need to find the invaders. Ah, this is the glyphic. Now I know it's a fucking dream. Your prince help me remember. Despite your predilections, Rem. Prince Vermina commands me to punish Mora's servants' kindness. So I do. Excessive and pointless. But I have what I came for. I'm leaving. Do what you will. I'll deal with our eavesdroppers. this bridge for you. It would be easier for both of us if you could just... Corvus Art has already accessed the knowledge preserved in this glyphic. We should find out what it contains. Poems emerged from the glyphic. Read them, mortal. The attack primarily prohibits Daedric Princes from entering another's realm. But that's hardly a secret. Infosaurus said he was trying to remember a lost dream. He believes he can find it in my master's realm. And an eye? That's one of my master's black books. These tomes were reluctant to dispense their information. I wonder if Torvasar had learned more. Glyphics endure for eternity. I've never heard of any erasing themselves before. Very strange. Do you understand the texts that remain mortal? I found the words very disturbing. One concerned the Pact Primordial. Could they be seeking a way to subvert that ancient restriction? The second mentioned lost dreams, such as the one Torvasard seeks to recover. It told of a place in Apocrypha to find such misplaced memories. No. But we have to assume Torvasard learned the location before the text faded away. The final book referred to one of Hermaeus Mora's most infamous black books. The Tormenting Eye. It said it contains a rite for unlocking dangerous secrets. The Pact refers to ancient laws that bind the Daedric Princes. 
No prince may physically intrude in another's realm, everyone knows that. Well, perhaps not mortals. That they sought out the tome tells us something important. The invaders found a way to enter Apocrypha undetected. Perhaps they hope to open a path for one, one moment and I'll conjure up a portal. We're in no immediate danger. We can speak here. 